Hey guys, what's going on? Just realized I didn't close my window, so hopefully nothing too crazy goes on on the street outside. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my SGC submission. So we've got quite a few cards, I think around 40 that I'm going to show off. But I also want to show off a couple of other things really quickly beforehand. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. I didn't record it, but I opened up a box of Lightning Overdrive and I pulled pretty decently. Uh, here are the, the notable cards. But I'm going to be selling all these, so not a huge, nothing too important there. Um, didn't record it, didn't really feel the need. Um, and then this is another card I picked up, an Asian English, if you can see it down there. Asian English, Mobius the Frost Monarch, absolutely stunning. Don't plan on getting it graded. This is, I mean, these Asian English ultimate rares are the best ultimate rares ever. Okay, you know, the texture on these is second to none. Like, actually second to none. This is it's better than uh, the Japanese version. Just looks incredible. So, that's an awesome card that I picked up. I mean, it cost me, <laughs> you know, a couple hundred dollars to buy that. But, um, very, very cool. And then I, as you can probably tell, I'm going to be submitting to SGC, which you might not have heard of. Um, this is what their slab looks like. This is one that I put, picked up couple of months ago. You know, I wanted to do my investigation into what the slab looked like and such. Uh, I do have a plastic wrapper on this, so it kind of obscures it, but it does look quite nice. I like the label a lot. Uh, and for reference, here's a, a cracked PSA slab. I, I didn't get any of my PSA slabs with cards in them out of uh, the acrylic cases that they're in, but here is a cracked Chaos Emperor Dragon PSA 6 case. So you can see that the SGC slab is a little bit bigger, but uh, I do really like the black backdrop and also it's ultra clear, just like the PSA slab. So um, I like that. I mean, also, if you look at the labels, I think the, the label on, for the SGC slab looks a lot nicer. The PSA slab, one of my biggest criticisms is that it looks like an inventory label, which I, I want it to look more like the SGC slab where it's a display label, excuse me. Uh, one of the most notable things is that, you know, the, the PSA 6, so the overall grade on this one is the same size as the reference number. And, and because the reference number, or the same font size, uh, because the reference number is so much longer than the actual grade, it takes up more space on the slab, which to me makes no sense. Uh, and so, you know, the, the grade is much more clearly stated on the SGC slab. And that's something that I like uh, about Beckett slabs as well. So, I mean, you know, it all comes down to personal preference, but I think that the SGC slab in general just looks a lot better, whether it's the case with the, they call it the tuxedo. So there's the black backdrop. I think it complements the card very well. Um, and also I think the label looks nicer, but that's my personal preference. So, um, you know, I'm gonna be grading these with SGC. So we'll give it a try. It's the first time I'll submit to them. Uh, mainly I'm submitting modern Japanese. Uh, I think I have one English card in here, uh, and then a couple of, you know, obviously you can see that I have some Ghost Stardust, um, but, you know, I, I don't think a lot of people are going to switch their, you know, vintage collections that they have graded in PS, at PSA, um, or, you know, in PSA slabs to SGC. I don't think that's realistic at all. I mean, I'm not cracking my PSA slabs and then submitting them to SGC or, you know, asking for cross grades, etc even though I like the slabs better. Um, but, you know, it's realistic that I kind of want to build a niche in the, the Yu-Gi-Oh card market for these modern Japanese um, that I'm going to be submitting to uh, SGC. So some of these are, are you know, for my personal collection. Uh, all these will be put on eBay, even the ones that I want for my personal collection um, once they get slabbed up. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll, I'll thumb through these as I, as I talk now. Starting off with some uh, Stardust Dragon Ghost Rares. Very, very cool. Now we have some Ultimate Rares. Very nice. It costs about $30 a card uh, to grade, but the return time is insane. It's like, you know, I've heard five business days from multiple people for their 25 business day <laughs> uh, expected turnaround time. They have no backlog, which is really nice. So I like that a lot. Also, you know, this is a company that's been around for two decades, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's highly respected in the sports card market. So this is the one English card I'm sending. This is not for my personal collection. Um, I mean, I don't really care about these reprint LOB cards, but, um, you know, if I can get 
a 9.5 or a 10 on it, which uh, SGC, as you can see, doesn't have subgrades, but it does have 9.5 grades and also a pristine gold label um, that is the highest grade and very difficult to get. Typically in the sports card world, um, the gold label from SGC goes for the same amount or close to the same amount as the BGS 10 pristine. Um, actually in Pokemon, the highest public sale ever for a base set first edition Charizard was a uh, gold, an SGC gold label 10. So that's something to note, but here's an LOB card. I'll just be trying to sell that one. Hopefully I get a 9.5 or a 10. It's pretty well centered actually, but I digress. So next up we have a power tool dragon. Very, very cool. I think I'm expecting a nine on that. This one's off center. So I'm sending some cards that I, I don't expect to get tens. Um, but I want to make sure that I'm sending cards that are not just modern Japanese because these modern Japanese cards I've already sorted out, you know, off center ones and I'm not grading those ones with, you know, white spots or serious factory lines. I'm not grading those. So I don't want a situation where I'm sending, you know, all 10 worthy cards and then they end up only giving, you know, half of them 10s when they all deserve 10s. Um, because they don't feel comfortable giving an entire submission 10. But I digress. Here is actually the car. These Honests are the cards that got me into these prismatic modern Japanese cards. I mean, this card is one of the most stunning cards out there. Coincidentally, this and this Asian English Mobius are, are two of the most stunning cards out there. But continuing on, I know I've wasted a ton of time. Another one of those. This is like a perfect card, except it's off center, sadly. It looked centered in the, uh, I paid extra for this as well. I think I paid 65 for this on a Japanese site. And so I also, you know, the Japanese collector who middlemans for me, I pay him, you know, for the entire shipment as well. So total, this costs a little more than, you know, 65, but it looks perfectly centered on the images that I saw. I'm so sad that it's not, but. You know, I think it's, I think it will get a 9.5. If it gets a nine, I, I would also understand. If it gets a 10, I, I think it's within 60, 40, but I think you, you need better than 60, 40. I think you need 55, 45 centering. Here's another one, also off center the other way. Um, I think this should get a nine. Awesome alternate art. We've got Destiny Hero Plasma. OCG, it's bloody. Very, very stunning card. I love this alternate art. And another one. Hopefully those get 10s. We have a 20th anniversary Cyber End Dragon, as you can see, by the stamp and the red text. And then a bunch of these prismatic art collection Cyber Ends. These are probably like the lowest end card that I'm submitting. Uh, I just think that, you know, I wanted one of those in 10 and also I expect that those would probably sell well on the secondary market uh, for what I paid for these, which was pretty low. Um, continuing on, we've got some, what the heck? Am I missing a slifer? Oh, that's what happened. So caught myself there. So we've got Slifer times two from the Prismatic God Box. Those had finally settled down in price, so I wanted to get some of these. I mean, these are super, super easy to grade. I think 90% or so of them get PSA 10s. So these should all be 10s, I think. They're all reasonably well centered and don't have serious problems. So I imagine, you know, a couple of them will get 9.5s, but most of them should get 10s. I think they would all get PSA 10s, to be honest. Though it's been told on these forums that I look at by sports card collectors that SGC creates a little bit harder than PSA. We've got a Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare. Some Winking Wing Karibos. I really like this card from the Prismatic Art Collection. Hopefully we can get one of those in 10. Very nice. Then we've got some Astral Utopias. They just announced the Astral Leviathan Dragon, which I'm excited for. Um, Stunning card. I think this will look incredible in the black tuxedo slab. Seems to be dirt on this. Hopefully that's not inside. Oh well. Not much I can do at this point. Another one. Astral Utopia. Very nice. 
and another one. So we're submitting three of those. These are the Japanese version to specify. You can see right there, and it also doesn't have the first edition stamp, but because it's an astral language, you know, hard to tell. Scarlet, Red Dragon, Archfiend. I think this has a shot at a 10. If it gets a 10, that would actually be huge. Um, 20th anniversary, Harpy's Feather Duster. Very, very nice. We've got a Dunamis, Dunamis, Dunames, Dark Witch. Very, very cool card. Hopefully that grades a 10. I think this was a pretty decent card. It's got a little bit whitening top left corner. Other than that, it looks pretty nice. Eh, it's not even that bad, top left. It's also centered. Eh, it's a little off top to bottom, but I think that could get a 10. Got some Dark Honests, should have been called Dishonest, but I don't know why this wasn't a Starlight Rare in the, the TCG, but got those. And then we also have some Prismatic Art Collection Cyber Dragons. So hopefully those get 10s. So that's all that I'm submitting. I still have some other cards over here that, you know, like... This, this one's centered and perfect condition, but I don't want to risk getting a 9.5 and then, I, I don't know, because there's $30 per submission right now, I imagine that's going to go down within the next, you know, year or so, but I just want to get some of these graded, and I think, you know, because the turnaround time is so short, I'll, I should be able to get them back and start, you know, putting them on market soon, and then, you know, the ones that are in my, are in my collection I'll already have, so... That's really nice, but I kind of rambled here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll see how it, I do, and I'll, I'll let you guys know about the return on investment. I understand it's going to be nowhere near what a PSA slab is worth, but, you know, I think these slabs are really nice, and I, I think they do a great job of grading. So we'll see. A lot of really cool cards, and let me know what you guys think, or if you are interested in, you know, purchasing an SGC slab once I get these back hopefully within a month. I'm gonna be submitting these with priority mail, so hopefully they get there pretty quick. But thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Watomar Melon, and peace out.